When we think of Christmas during the First World War, one of the first things that often comes to mind is the truce of 1914. However, this was a very spontaneous and limited event, which didn't reflect the experiences of the majority. So instead, this video is about all the other things that happened at Christmas during the First World War. While a truce with the enemy was by no means universal, in 1914 every soldier did receive a gift from Princess Mary's Sailors and Soldiers Christmas Fund. This consisted of a small tin, the contents of which included various items from writing materials to chocolates and cigarettes. It was intended that everyone serving the country on the 25th of December 1914 would receive one, including nurses and those serving at home. However, Due to the enormity of this task, not all were delivered in time for Christmas. Parcels from home were another matter. From the very beginning of the war, the Army's postal service had been very efficient, and at Christmas each year it went into overdrive, delivering gifts, especially food and clothing, to the men and women at the front. They also often received supplies from unit comforts funds set up on the home front. These operated throughout the year, but were particularly active at Christmas, organising collections of food and other supplies to be sent to regiments, ships and hospitals. The amount collected for just one hospital can be seen here. In fact, this effort was so successful that some units ended up with more stuff than they knew what to do with. Captain Crook of the first Black Watch wrote in his diary, People at home are so kind that we seem to be becoming ungrateful, but really we are overburdened with kindness. Thousands of cigarettes, three or four woolies apiece, mufflers galore, socks by the dozen, and any amount of chocolate. Crook and his countrymen celebrated the season slightly differently to other British soldiers. For Scottish soldiers, Christmas was enjoyable, but it was not as important as Hogmanay or New Year's Eve. In fact, Christmas Day was not even made a public holiday in Scotland until 1958, as it was generally treated as a purely religious event. For the first Black Watch, Christmas in 1914 was a typical day at the front. An officer, 2nd Lieutenant Alistair McAndrew, had been killed during the night as there was no question of a truce in their sector. However, at Hogmanay they celebrated. Pipers played in the trenches as the battalion gave the enemy a special volley of rifle fire to bring in the new year. And, as Private John Lane recalled, the soldiers were treated to a glass of cognac. New Year was also often celebrated instead of Christmas by soldiers of other religions and nationalities. But whatever the day they celebrated, they certainly made an effort. Here, for example, we see the arduous journey of a Christmas pudding to the front during the exceptionally cold winter of 1916 to 1917. And the efforts taken to procure a decent meal. In hospitals, at home and abroad, medical staff and patients decorated the wards and devised seasonal entertainment, if often of a rather amateur nature. Even Christmas couldn't stop the war. However, the men and women serving at the front and at home did their best to celebrate the season. Winter in the trenches was unpleasant at best, but the prospect of a good meal some warm clothes, or a temporary respite from the fighting, made it just that little bit more bearable. So, for me and all at Scots at War, a very Merry Christmas, and perhaps more importantly, a Happy New Year.